book two, isn't it? You've been um, uh, doing these sessions for over the last few uh, few weeks, and you've done really well. Um, we have got twelve sessions to all in total, so we've done nine now, and inshallah we will be finishing in a couple of weeks' time. Okay, I just want to make sure you can see my screen. Um, you can see the PowerPoint, hopefully. Okay, let's get started then. Everybody mute their mics, please. Yep, uh, thank you. Excellent. Okay, everyone's mics muted? Yep, okay. All right. Um, <clears throat> so we're not going to go through the rules. <clears throat> I think you all know the rules um, by now. And you are all quite good at following our rules. So we will we'll start with our dua to begin with. So if you can all the recite your the dua in your houses from where you are. So the dua before we begin is Rabbi Zidni Ilma. And this means Allah increase me or my Lord increase me in knowledge. And inshallah, um, Allah will always continue to increase your knowledge um, as you get older. Okay, thank you. Uh, just looking at some of the messages. Walaikum salam. Okay, now the messages are just coming to me, so um, it's not being shared. Only write in the chat box, please, if there is a question that you need to answer or ask, please. Okay, thank you. Right, so um, I just wanted to remind you before we begin or let you know if you're not sure, if you don't know already, but MUS normally do a, an annual exam. And um, this year, the exam is going to be on the 5th of July. And this is online this year because of the situation that we are in. Um, and I'm sure all of you can do really, really well in this exam because we've been working, you've all been working quite hard on book two. And if you have a question, please write it. Um, write it in the box, please. Okay, everybody mute their mics, please. Thank you. Um, so the book two questions will be is a multiple choice question paper so you'll have some options and it's not very difficult it's all about what we've covered so far in the book um, the registration for this opens on the 1st of June so it's already open so please ask your parents to sign you up if you haven't done so already um, and it will be closed on the 20th of June so make sure you do it by the 20th inshallah Okay, and then when after you finish, once you've done the exam, you'll get a certificate and it will show you whether you're ready to move on to the next books as well. So because we've nearly finished pretty much all of book two, but we have a couple more sections to go before we finish. So hopefully we can finish before um, we finish our, our sessions for this, this, this period of time that you've been doing these sessions for. Okay, all right, so let's get started. Oh, I'm just going to remind you that the book was split into four sections, and we're going to try and do a bit of revision of, from each of these sections in the next four weeks so that you can prepare yourself ex as well for the tests, okay, the exam. Now, today we're going to be talking about Sayyida Fatima, uh, alayhi salam, and uh, hopefully you know about her, and I'll, I'm looking forward to hearing from you about what you know about her and what you can tell me, and also, inshallah, we can learn something new about her today. Before we do, though, we'd like to just quickly re recap or revise what we've been doing, what we've done over the last one or two weeks. So about two weeks ago, we spoke about Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Um, I'd like you to tell me what can you uh, what do you remember or what do you know about Prophet Muhammad that you can share with us today? So please either raise your hand or write it in the chat so that I know that you are um, wanting to share something. Um, <laughs> Please do not unmute your mic, otherwise I'll have to remove you. Um, you should only be un uh, unmuted if I've asked you to do so. Thank you. All right, Farah Sadiq, you've got your hand up. Would you like to unmute and share with us what you know about Prophet Muhammad? He was the last and final messenger of Allah before Prophet of Allah. Okay, yeah, the last and final prophet of Allah. Excellent. Well done, that Allah sent for us. Well done, thank and you very much. And he had nine wives. Okay, all right, okay. Thank you for sharing that with us. So, um, thank you, that was Farah. Now let's have Mariam Hasnain. What would you like to share with us? Um, prophet Muhammad had mm -hmm. the best of manners, the best of akhlaq. 
Yeah, excellent. Well done. So he had very, very good manners. He had the best of a clock. Well done. Okay, and Matthias said he was a final prophet. Yes, well done. He was the final prophet that was sent to us. And Elisa, what would you like to share with us? Um, he has a daughter called Bibi Fatima. That is correct. Well done. He has a daughter called Bibi Fatima. Thank you. Uh, Masroura Suleiman, what would you like to share with us? Thank you, Elisa. He was the city of knowledge. Oh, okay. All right. And who was the gate? Imam Ali. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Well done. Okay. So he had a lot of knowledge. He had the best of manners. Uh, thank you for Asadik. He said Imam Ali as well. Well done. Um, he is the messenger of God. He was a final prophet and he was married to Bibi Khadija. Excellent. Well done. So some good facts there. And the Quran was revealed to him. Well done, Mahdiya. Uh, excellent. Okay. Then we've also spoken about Imam Ali alayhi salam. So we spoke about him uh, last week. What can you tell me about Imam Ali alayhi salam? Yeah, put your hand up or you can write something in the chat box. Hmm. Nadia said the, uh, oh, I think that was for Imam Prophet Muhammad. He said that the Quran was revealed to him. What about for Imam Ali? I'm looking for some names who haven't spoken yet. Okay, Dua, can you please share something with us? Um, he was the first Imam. Okay, excellent. He was the first Imam. Well done. Thank you. And um, Madia, what would you like to share with us? He was born inside the Kaaba. Excellent. He was so special. He was born inside the Kaaba. Well done. Thank you. And Mariam Badul, what would you like to share with us? Uh, he was the father of Imam Hassan al -Islam. Yep, excellent. And who else? Uh, Imam Hussain. Yeah, excellent. Well done. So, so, so two of his sons are Imam Hassan and Imam Hussain mm -hmm. alayhi salam. And he did have some other children as well. Um, Farah, what would you like to share with us? He was the Lion of Allah. Okay, excellent. He was the Lion of Allah. Well done. Ibad, what would you like to share? If you can unmute yourself. He was the cousin to the prophet. Mm, excellent. So he was the cousin. And what other relation did he have to the prophet? Brother. Mm -hmm. Yes. So he wasn't the brother. Cousin, brother. Yeah. What else? What, how else was he related to um, um, the prophet? Who did um, he marry? I'm not sure? Yeah, not sure. Okay. Let's see if somebody can tell us. Thank you. Mir Haider Ali, can you tell us? I don't know that, but I know one of the names that uh, Imam Ali was called. Yep, okay. Do you want to tell us that then? Amira Mu'mineen. Excellent, Amira Mu'mineen. Okay, thank you very much. Well done. Um, and some people have written in the chat. Yes, it is correct, Sana, uh, you've said. Hasnaina said. Um, and uh, Eliza has said that he, she, he was the husband of Bibi Fatima, Sayyidah Fatima, and he, she was the daughter of the Prophet. So he was also the son-in-law of the prophet. Okay, so there were two relations. Mariam Hasnain, what would you like to sh say? You can unmute yourself. Um, prophet Muhammad gave mm -hmm. when it was war time. Mm -hmm. He gave him Mama Lee a special sword from the heavens called Zulfiqar. Excellent. And do you know what was very special about that sword? No, which about what at the end of it? Do you know what it looked like at the, the end? It was like two curved spikes. Yeah, so it had two spikes at the end. Very good. Well done. Normally there's just one, and this one had two. Okay, excellent. Um, let's see, Shazia Shah, you haven't said anything. Uh, you have your hand up. What would you like to say? Shazia. Mom, I was born in. On Friday, the 13th of Raja. Okay, excellent. He was born on the Friday, 13th of Raja. Okay, thank you. All right, so we're going to move on now. Actually, so before we move on, we had some nice work that was sent in to me actually this week, and I wanted to share that with you. Uh, do we have Lena here today? Lena, are you here? You sent me this lovely poem. If you're here, can you unmute yourself? I have a feeling you're not here. 
I can't see your name in the list unless you're down as somebody else. Nope, okay. So uh, Lena wrote a poem for us about Imam Ali alayhi salam, um, which we can have a read of here. Oh, Imam Ali, oh, honest Wali, all we see is bravery, but you have more to your core, oh, Imam Ali. Oh, honest Wali, covering your face in the darkness of the nights, feeding the orphans that come in your sights. Okay, this was by uh, Lena Lari. So that was really nice. Um, maybe if she's with us next week, she can read it to us. And I also had Hasnain who sent in some lovely work. Uh, Hasnain, would you like to unmute yourself and read uh, the facts that you wrote here? Hello. Hello, yes, Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum, Would you like to share what you've written here in your poster? It's yeah. a lovely poster, well done. Um, so Imam Ali quotes, he said that through patience, great things are accomplished. Mm -hmm. Excellent, well done. So it's very important to be patient. Okay, and what else have you got there? He said that good manners are your beauty. Mm, excellent, good manners are your beauty. Excellent. So it doesn't matter if you're beautiful or not, but it's really about how you behave with others and what your manners are. Excellent. And what else did you have there? Don't get angry. It starts with madness and ends with regret. Yeah, excellent. Why do you think it ends with regret? Do you, do you think you know why? Because they like that? when you start getting angry, mm. You, your first thing is going to be good and then in the end you're going to get in trouble. Yeah, you can end up getting yourself in trouble. Well done, thank you. Excellent. Farah Sadiq, what would you like to say? The Rasulullah said, Man kunta mola, fi hazi alien mola. Excellent, well done. Thank you very much. Um, very good. Cause sorry, I thought I saw that you said something on the side, so then I asked you. Okay, Hasnain, thank you very much for that. And I saw some really no other nice work that you've sent in as well. So well done. And I like your key facts there. Very good. Thank you for sharing that with us. Um, I'm going to move on now uh, to today's topic. And today we are talking about, say, the Fatima, peace be upon her. And here we've got the separator. Okay, why was she named Fatima? Let's find out why Sayyidah Fatima was named Fatima. And actually today, I was thinking I'm going to ask you to do some reading. So I need to share uh, the page with you. So let me just get that ready for you. And then I'm going to ask you to read it. While, we, while I get that open, maybe you can tell me some facts that you know about Sayyidah Fatima. What can you tell me? So I noticed Dua's got a hand up. Can you tell me Dua something about Sayyidah Fatima? Um, she was the wife of Imam Ali. Yeah, okay, excellent. Well done. She's and the, wife the daughter of Prophet Muhammad. Okay, thank you very much. Well done. Wife of Imam Ali and daughter of Prophet Muhammad. Good. And um, somebody else then? Thank you, Dua. Anybody else? Let me see. Madia, you have your hand up. Would you like to share something? She was named the separator because um, she would separate her companions of Imam Ali al Islam ah, from her. Okay, excellent. So you know why she was called the separator. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Madia, for sharing that with us. Mariam Hasnain, what would you like to say? Um, she was the leader of the ladies in the Shia religion. Uh, yes, and she's one of the main, one of the very good role models for us. Uh, we should act, especially for the girls, we should try to be as much like her as we can. Exactly. Thank you very much. Aliana, what would you like to say? She's the second Masumin. Okay, excellent. Well done. So we had 14 Masumin and she is the second one after Prophet Muhammad. Well done. Uh, Eliza, what would you like to say? Um, he, she was part of the Hadith of Kisa. Yeah, well done. She was one of the special people, five, one of the special five that were under the Hadith, uh, under the Kisa. Well done, the blanket. Um, and Zahra, uh, Zahra Suleiman, what would you like to say? She's named uh, Umm Abiha. Yeah, okay, well done, excellent. And Wasi, what would you like to share with us? She's part of the Panjatan. Yeah, brilliant. Well done. And Sana, would you like to unmute yourself? And tell me what you would like to say. Can you unmute yourself? Yeah. Sana, can you hear me? 
I can't unmute you. It says that you want to say something. Hmm, I can't hear you. Sana? Sorry, Sana, maybe write it in the chat because I can't hear you. Sabah Batul has said she was a mother of Sayyid Zainab, Imam Hussein, and Imam Hassan, yeah. and Bibi Kulthum. Okay, excellent. Well done, Sabah Batul. Very good. Okay, sorry, son. I don't think um, we can hear you. So if you just write it in the chat what you would like to share with us. Well done. Okay. So let's start reading. And I had somebody who said they would like to read. Okay. Me, Heider Ali, would you like to start reading? I'm going to, you can probably see my chat there. So I'm going to move the participants there to the side. Okay. Me, hey there, Ali. Yeah. Afternoon and the hot air was gently blowing through the city and eerie silence fell over the sleeping city of Makkah. Yet in the house, the sound of moaning came from a woman in pain. You see, Hadrat, Khadija salam, the dear wife of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi yeah. was preparing for the arrival of her daughter into the world. Hadrat Khadija's pain increased with every passing moment. No one was even there to help her through her birth pain. Since she was the only Muslim woman in the city, all the unbelieving women had left her uh, all alone in her pain. Can you imagine how lonely she must have felt? All of a sudden, the skies of Mecca split. Four heavenly women came to Hadrat Khadija Salam. Sarah, the wife of Prophet Ibrahim, Asiya, mm -hmm. the great wife of the Pharaoh, yeah. Maryam, Islam, the mother of Prophet Isa, Islam, and yeah. Kuntum, the sister of Prophet Musa, Islam. They were all sent by Allah to help Hazrat Khadija, Islam, and comfort her as her daughter and, and, and her the world. Okay, and excellent. Well done. Thank you, Mi Heather. Excellent. So let me ask you a few questions. Um, let's see who can raise your hand if you know the answer to these. Okay. So um, were there, uh, was uh, anybody with uh, Hazrat Khadija when she was about to have the baby? Mariam Hasnain. She didn't have anybody because she was the only lady in mm -hmm. the city and all the disbelieved women le just left her alone. That's right. Excellent. Thank you. Um, well done. And thank you, Saraya and Sana. You also answered saying no, nobody was with her. But Allah didn't leave her alone. He sent some special ladies to her. Who did she send to? Who did he send to her? Hasnain, would you like to tell us who was sent to uh, uh, Bibi Khadija or Hazrat Khadija? She was sent um, a daughter. Mm -hmm. She was given a daughter, yeah. But which special woman came to the birth of, the, um, say, the Fatima? Um, the Pharaoh's wife. Yeah. Maryam, yeah. Who was the Pharaoh's wife? What did we, was her name? Maryam. Uh, Bibi Maryam was an, uh, somebody else. She's the mother of Prophet Isa alayhi salam. Prophet's, uh, uh, Pharaoh's wife was called Asiya, Bibi Asiya. Yeah? Oh, okay, that, yeah, that's good. Well done. Thank you very much, Asnain. Um, and also, Sarah, the wife of Prophet Ibrahim, was sent. And Kulthum, the sister of Prophet Musa alayhi salam, was sent. So some special, very special ladies came to help her at that time. Okay, excellent. So we're going to carry on reading. So... Let's have somebody else to read. Um, Sana, would you like to read? You can un oh, I'm not sure. Your mic wasn't working before. Let's see if it works now. Sana, unmute yourself and see if you can uh, start reading and we can hear you. Hmm. I think you've unmuted yourself. Okay, so somebody else who would like to read. 
Um, Shazia Shah, would you like to read? You want to unmute yourself? Yep. Hitherat Khadija lays salam gave birth to a beautiful baby girl named Fatima, a name that Allah had chosen for her. The Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was so happy and loved his daughter very much, even when she was just a child. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would always stand up in respect and kiss her hand when she entered the room. Whenever he travelled, he made sure that Sayyidah Fatima salam, would be the last person to whom he would bid farewell. And when he would return home, she would be the first one he would visit. He would always be heard saying, Fatima is a part of me. Excellent. Well done. All right. So very good. Um, what special things uh, did the Prophet do? when uh, with, with uh, Sayyidah Fatima, what special things did he do? Elisa, can you tell us? Um, he let her go first and visit everyone. And he okay. always said Fatima is the part of me. Yeah, okay, well done, thank you. Um, Ibad, what can you tell me? Ibad, do you have your hand up? You want to share something? Oh, um, no, uh, uh, my hand wasn't up. I, um, I, okay. I just put my hand so I could read. Okay, you want to read. Okay, maybe I'll ask you to read in a minute then. Thank you. Um, Farah, did you want to say something, Farah? Unmute yourself if you want to. You had your hand up. Okay, Shazia, what would you like to say? Um, the Prophet would always stand up in, in respect and kiss her hand when she entered the room. Mm -hmm. Okay, well done. Okay, excellent, well done. Thank you very much. Okay, um, let's have Ibad now. You can do some reading. So the next page. Okay. Years later, Hadrat um, Khadija salam, became ill and passed away. The Prophet was very sad and now it was just him and Sayyidah Fatima salam. During those difficult days, um, Sayyidah Fatima salam, would show even more love and affection towards her father. When the unbelievers would hurt her father, she would help bandage his wounds. Okay, thank you very much. So she was only very young when her mother passed away. Um, she was quite ill and she was, um, the, uh, say the Fatima was only about six years old, so very, very young. Um, and then these were very difficult times for say the Fatima. And then uh, as long as well as losing her mother, she also had to see how people were being with her father, but she always stood by her father and helped him and looked after him, okay? So we should always remember that, right? But I'm going to read a little bit so that we can get uh, um, um, the this, this story finished and move on. Then, so the Prophet, peace be upon him, love for her. The Prophet's love for her continued to increase with each passing day. People began to wonder why the Prophet loved and respected his daughter so much. One day, Allah told Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, to tell the people of Makkah that they should call him Messenger of Allah instead of Muhammad. Everyone, even Sayyidah Fatima Islam, obeyed this command. However, one day when Sayyidah Fatima Islam said to her father, O Messenger of Allah, he replied to her, O my daughter, this order of Allah does not include you. You are from me and I am from you. Please call me dear father. These words make Allah happier and bring joy to my heart. So the Prophet didn't really want her to call her just, uh, him just Messenger of Allah. He would like her to call him. Uh, for his father, her father, so you know, call him father. Years passed and Sayyidah Fatima Islam became a young lady. It was now time for her to get married. The rich leaders of Mecca came to ask for her hand in marriage, but no one was good enough to marry her. Sayyidah Fatima Islam married the only person who was worthy of her. And who was this? This was Imam Ali alayhi salam. Sayyidah Fatima Islam and um, Imam Ali Islam lived in a peaceful and loving home. Does anybody know where their house was? 
you can go and visit their house, one of their houses. They did live in Medina, well done. But then they moved somewhere and they have a house that you can go and visit somewhere else, somewhere in Iraq. Let's see, I can just see that people, okay. four people have got their hand up. Let me, Shazia Shah. Did you want to tell us, Shazia? Makkah. In Makkah, yeah, they did have a house in Makkah. Well done. And there is a place in Iraq where you can go to the house. I think Mir Ahmed knows. Mir Ahmed, can you tell us? You can unmute and let us know. So when I went to Iraq, I, uh, there was like a Prophet Muhammad's house. And then on the side, there was like a small farm for sheep. And then uh, when I went inside, there was that carpet on the floor. Mm. And there was very little space. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, I, so I, the place I was thinking of that I've been to is in Kufa. When you go to Iraq, there's a place called Kufa. Maybe that's where you're talking about as well. I'm not sure. Uh, could be. And um, it's right next to the Masjid, Masjid, Masjid the Kufa. And then there's a house next to it. And that's where they lived for some time as well. Okay, excellent. Well done. So unfortunately, the house in Mecca is, uh, Mecca is not there anymore. So we can't see that. But the other one, when you can go in, um, you can see it. Um, okay, right. Let's carry on. Zainab, did you want to say something? Um, you're asking about muting. I was just, did you want to say something? Okay. All right. Um, Zara Suleiman, what would you like to say? I've been to the house of Imam Ali and Bibi Fatima. Okay, excellent. Where did you go? I don't remember where I was. Okay. All right. Okay, excellent. All right. And Mariam Hasnain, what did you want to say? Um, I just wanted to ask if I could read next. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. This is the last page. Okay. Maybe you can read some of this page for me then. Okay. Do you want to start reading? Okay. One day the mystery of, of Sayyidah Fatima's name came to light. It happened when Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Salam, yeah. Um, once asked, Mamali, Alaisalam, do you know why Mamali is named Fatima Imam? I don't know. Please tell me. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam explained her name, her name, Fatima, means the one who separates. She will save the followers by separating them from the punishment of the Day of Judgment. Mm. She's the best woman and has a very high status. Status, yeah. Very good. In the eyes of Allah. Her father is the prophet of Allah. Her husband is the first imam. Her two sons are also imams. Also, her imams are her grandsons. All the imams are his, her grandsons, yeah. Okay. So, you see, she is the daughter of an in, in infallible, infallible mm -hmm. the wife mm -hmm. of an infallible, infallible, infallible yeah. of two in infallibles okay so an infallible is somebody who is perfect someone who doesn't make any uh, mistakes mm -hmm. they are perfect okay if you want to carry on reading yep and she is also infallible herself yeah it's very clear to everyone why is the prophet loved his loved his daughter daughter Sayyidah Fatima salam. so much ya Allah for the sake of Sayyidah Fatima salam, please separate us from the punishment 
over the here after. Okay, excellent. Well done. Thank you, Mariam. Um, sorry, I can see that a lot of you want to read, but unfortunately we come to the end of this passage. But if we come up with some more reading, I'll ask some more of you to read, inshallah. Okay, so why is Bibi Fatima called Bibi Fatima? Why is her name Fatima? Why is she called the separator? Who can tell me why she is called the separator? Um, Zara Suleiman, why was she called the separator? Zara, can you tell me? You have your hand up. Uh, yeah. Because she will save the followers by separating them from the punishment of on the day of judgment. Excellent. Well done. Thank you. And this is what we all have to make dua for. So on the day of judgment, if we do look at Bibi Fatima's examples and we do things like she did, inshallah, she'll come to us and she will save us on the day of judgment. Um, and also the, along, along these lines, it's important that we um, remember her and her husband, Imam Ali al Islam, and the Prophet and her sons and how they were killed and how they died um, because she will, um, she is happy when we remember them because obviously they were very close to her. I'm going to stop, stop sharing the screen and share back, go back to our PowerPoint. Um, right, okay. So she was a very important, she is, and she was a very important lady, and we should all try and follow her example. Here is just a brief, uh, some points about her life, okay? So she was born on the 3rd of Jamadul's, uh, 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 okay, sorry, uh, one second, let me just find, sorry. Um, her house, let's go down actually, uh, her mother was Bibi Khadija, and she died when she was very young. She married Imam Ali alayhi salam, and she had children, um, and these are the four children she had, Imam Hassan, Imam Hussain, Bibi Zainab, and Bibi Umm Kulthum So these were her children. Her father was Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and he died soon after she had her children, okay? Um, her house was burnt down when she was um, expecting her ba another baby. So after these children, she'd had these children, she was expecting another child. And unfortunately her house was burnt down at that time by the bad people of the time. And um, her baby that was in her stomach because the door was knocked down onto her at that time, died because of this incident. Uh, her father, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, had given her a very special place, a piece of land, which was called the Garden of Fadak. Now the bad people wanted to take it away and actually in the end they did take it away from her. So they took away the gift that the Prophet had given her. She died and she was buried in darkness in Jannatul Baqi in Medina, okay, which is very close um, to where the Prophet's Majjid is. And if you go just to the side of it, there's a big graveyard and there's a few Imams there like Imam Hassan <laughs> as well. Um, and they are buried there too. A special place made her cry for her. Can we not unmute our mics, please? There was a very special made, place made for her so that she could go and cry for her father because after her father passed away, she was really, really very upset and she used to cry. So there was a special place that was made for her um, so that she could cry. Okay. When is, when is class going to end? Right. Are we meant to be asking questions? Um, if you want to ask something, then please ask in the chat box or raise your hand. Thank you. Please do not unmute your mic. The class will end at its normal time, which is at seven o'clock, okay? Right, um, so now I have these same points. I want to see what you remember. So who can tell me what day, Islamic date, was Bibi Fatima, peace be upon her, um, Islam, born on in Mecca, what day? Um, let's see who was listening. Uh, Zunira, Zainab, can you tell us? Zanera? No, okay. Uh, you had your hand up, so I thought perhaps you know the answer. Okay, um, Farah Sadiq, do you know the answer? Oh, you put your hand down. Um, if you know the answer, then you can unmute and tell me. Third of Dilkar. Oh, okay, one second. Let me just come out of that. Okay, let's move it. 
3rd, Jamal de Lacher. Okay, that was her birthday. Um, who died when she was very, very young? You can unmute your mic and tell me if you know the answer. Her mother, Bibi Khadija. Thank you very much. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Thank you. And who did she marry? Imam Ali. Imam Ali. Imam Ali. Yes, thank you very much, Imam Ali al Islam. Can you name her? Yep. Can you tell me her children, the four children? Imam Right. Yes, exactly. So Imam Hassan, Imam Hussein, Bibi Zainab, Bibi Umar Kulthum, and then somebody said Baby Mohsin. But yes, and he was a child of hers, but unfortunately he um, died before he was born. Who? What is the name? So you can unmute and just tell me what was the name of her father? Prophet Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad. Yes, Prophet Muhammad. Yeah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yeah, thank you. Can we be sensible in the mic? Uh, we don't need to make funny noises, all right? Well done to those of you who are doing it sensibly. Thank you. All right. What happened to her house? What did the bad people do to her house? They burnt her house down. They burnt her house down. Yeah, they burnt her house down. Yeah, they burnt her house down. They were very angry after the, um, because um, Bibi Fatima was just... They yeah. burnt it down. Yes, they burnt it down. Well done. Thank you. And what happened when they came to burn the house down? They knocked the door, and what happened? Uh, no, Bibi Mohsin died. died. For, yeah. She protected they knocked her the money door. while yes. doing that. Yeah, uh, they knocked the uh, Baby Mohsin died. Right. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Well done. So. She uh, died, uh, the baby that was in her stomach, baby Mawson, passed away because of the door. Excellent. Okay, now you'll have to unmute yourself again. What was taken away from her? A garden. A garden. What was a garden called? What was taken away from the garden? Yes, what was a garden called? Fadda. Oh, Thank you. Very Fadda. good. It's the Garden of Fadda. Yes, that's right. Well done. And the Garden of Fadda. Where is baby Fatima or say the Fatima uh, buried? In Medina. What place? Medina. Yeah, what place Medina. in Medina? What's the graveyard called? Thank you very much. And what was special about the... Uh, what did they create? What special place did they create for Bibi Fatima and why? A special place. A special place for her to cry. Excellent. Well done. Thank you very much. Well done. Okay. Thank you. Um, it was nice to hear your voices and thank you for joining in sensibly. Well done. So those were just a few facts about um, the Prophet. I mean, Bibi Fatima. Okay. Right. Well done. Another thing that was very special about, say, the Fatima was that she was given a very, very special gift from the Prophet. Um, and that is called a Dasbi. And I'm sure you all know and have seen a Dasbi. And on a Dasbi, we read Allahu Akbar 34 times, Alhamdulillah 33 times, and Subhanallah 33 times. Now, it's very important, and this was given, this gives you lots and lots of reward, and this was given to Sayyidah Fatima because the Prophet said that reading this Dasbi after your Salah is like giving your Salah a, the smell of a beautiful rose. So you make your Salah, your prayer, even more rewarding by adding on the special Dasbi of Sayyidah Fatima. We call it Dasbi of Sayyidah Fatima. So hopefully you read it um, after your salahs, mm -hmm. or you can read it at any time, really. Um, but it's good to read after your salahs. Okay, so um, remember to do your tasbih. Well done, about He's saying that he does his, he reads his tasbih. Excellent. Okay, good. Right, so an activity that you can do is you could draw a tasbih, you can color it in, you can write in Allah Akbar. There is the sheet in your book if you'd like to do it from your book. You could even make a tasbih. So you could get some beads and you could create a dustbee for yourself. Um, so do an activity to do with the dustbee. And if you do do something, please do send me a picture so we can share it next week. Okay. Right. And those are the page numbers. Okay. We're going to just talk quickly about um, classroom manners, I think. I, and I hope you all remember what we have to do in classroom manners. This was just a reminder. Remember Allah before you start. 
sit straight in your chair, don't talk in class, and listen carefully to the lesson. But something important that I want to talk about today is being grateful to your parents. Okay, so before we go on to our Kahoot, let me check the time. Mm, we don't have that much time. Okay, we might actually leave this bit and because um, we always run out of time for our Kahoot. So what we'll do is we'll do Kahoot and we'll talk about kindness to parents next week. Okay, parents are very, very important. So uh, remember that we're going to talk about it next week, though, and being grateful to our parents. OK, so we're going to have a game of Kahoot. Uh, let me share the screen with you so that you can get the pin. Um, let me find Mommy, the right come thing. here, the pin. One second, I'm just going to share the pin with you. Where's the sharing? One second, I haven't opened it yet. Mm. Where's the no? Uh, I haven't shared it yet. One second. Okay. And it was quite good to see last week. I was having a look at how all of you did, um, and I can see who's uh, attempted what questions and how many you got right. So it was very good. Um, well done to the winners. I did share it on um, Class Dojo and also on WhatsApp. So hopefully you had a look at the winners. Okay, so can What's you all the see thing? the can you all see the screen with the um, Kahoot on it? Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah, the, yeah, I will put the pin. Can you please enter your name, not any random silly name? Okay, so proper names, please, so I know who you are. Thank you, Elisa. Thank you, Elisa. Okay, can we just mute our mics, please? unless you have a question for me. I'm not on it. Right, just add yourself, you should come on. Who was that who wasn't on? Are you on now? So I can't do it because I'm using it on the phone. So you can still do it on the phone. How? Did you, did you go to kahoot.it? Um, no. Try, can you open a web page? Yeah, go to kahoot.it. Zainab, what are you using? Are you using a phone or a tablet or a computer? Computer. So go to a web page, open a page, and type in kahoot.it. Okay, excellent. We've got 16, 18 players in. There's quite a lot more of you, though. So another 10 players to go. Zara, well done, we got you in. Okay, there's more players to come. Tanya's in, we've got 19 players. Yeah. If you have a question and you don't know how to log in, then please tell me. Uh, when On the side it says start in grey, but when I press it, it's not going to let me start. Am I in? Yeah. Am I we can't start until everybody's in and then I'll press start, okay? You should be able to, if you're in, you should be able to see your name up here on the screen. No, yeah, you should be able to see your name. Yeah. Can you see your name? If you can't see your name, then maybe you haven't connected up yet. Okay, there's still seven players. Oops. Seven players. Like, how do I get on a web page? Um, do you have Internet Explorer or Chrome? Uh, I think I've got Chrome. Yep, so in that, type in www.kahoot.it. Okay, that's fine. Oh, so are you playing together? Don't you have to... Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's fine. Okay. All right, we've got 22. I'm going to give one or two more minutes for you all to connect. So then we'll get started. Am I in? You have to check your name up here. Who is who was asking? Alicia. Yep, it looks like you're here. There's, there's Alicia here. I don't know how to get in it. Who who is that? What's your name? Right, right to who? Go to Internet Explorer and go to Kahoot. Don't worry if you can't get in then, I just want you to, you can have a go at the questions 
and maybe for next time you can ask maybe your parents to just help you out or um, explain how to get in okay yep all right I think we'll get started because we haven't got much time now all right so let's go we've got 12 questions are you ready I hope you are here goes what does la ilaha illallah mean which one of these Imam Ali is a true Khalifa. Imam Ali is the one who clo is close to Allah. There is no God but Allah. Okay, well done. Okay, I think you didn't have very much time there. I think I reduced the time. So well done. We've got Sabah at the top, Hania, Yabo, Maureen Batul and Hasnain, and well done everybody else. Um, make sure you keep answering because it changes rapidly. You've got 10 seconds only. What is the second line of the Kalma? Aliyun Waliullah, Wasiyu Rasulullah, or Muhammad Rasulullah? Okay, excellent. Muhammad Rasulullah is the second line. Very good. Excellent. The scoreboard stayed the same. Well done, everybody. Keep going. What does Al Khalik mean? Khalik mean generous, creator, or merciful? Which one of those does it mean? The most generous, the creator, or the merciful? Yes, the creator. Well done, majority of you got that. Oh, the scoreboard's not moving at all. Well done, Fatih Raza. You moved up eight places. You were the highest climber there. Well done. What should a good leader do? What should a good leader do? Steal, lie, pray, or give charity? There's two options here, okay? You can choose two here. Please choose two, actually. You have to choose two to get the points. Yes, well done. Excellent. And the scoreboard still didn't change. Well done, Madia. You're up three places. Next question. Which Rasuladeen means Allah is just? Tawheed, Qiyama, Adala, or Imama? Allah is just. Which one means Allah is just? Yes, Adala means Allah is just. Well done. Okay, excellent. Zara, you're the highest answer streak and you've moved up onto our board. Well done. And we've got Sabah, Yavo, Zahra, Minal, and Hania. Well done. And well done, everybody else. Keep going because you can come up onto the board anytime. We're halfway through. Which Asuladeen means Allah is one? Tawheed, Qiyama, Adala, or Imama? Allah is one. Yes, well done. Tawheed means Allah is one. Excellent. Very good. Our scoreboard stayed the same roughly, I think. Asul Adin are the branches of our religion. Is this true or false? Are they the branches of our religion? Have a think about it before you answer. Yes, false. It's not true. Asul Adin are the roots of our religion. Through Adin are the branches of our religion. So remember that. These are exactly the same types of questions you'll get in, your assess in the exam. So multiple choice and they're quite easy. Have a think about them. How many Asul are there? Two, four, three, or five? How many Asul are there? Two, three, four, or five? Uh, me, Ali, I'm not sure what's happened. Sometimes uh, our devices freeze or it has an issue. Okay, sorry about that, but don't worry, just keep trying. Um, well done, five Asul Adin, excellent. Okay, excellent, well done. We're gonna keep moving, nine. Which name of Allah means the all-knowing? Which one of these names means that Allah knows everything? Khalid, Khadil, Rahman, or Alim? Yes, Alim, well done means Allah is all-knowing. Excellent. So we've got some changes there. Well done, Marzi and Madia. You're on the chart now. Zara, very good. Sabah at the top. Nabuwa is. What does Nabuwa mean? That's fine, me, Ahmed. That's fine. No problem. It is a Suladin. Well done. Okay. One of our roots. Very good. Well done, everyone. The first prophet is, who is the first prophet? Prophet Adam, Prophet Muhammad, Prophet Musa, or Prophet Noor? Who's the first prophet? Very good. Prophet Adam was the first prophet. Well done. Okay, well done, everybody. Um, let's see, last question now. 
very easy. The last prophet. Who is the last prophet? Prophet Muhammad, Prophet Yunus, Prophet Isa, or Prophet Yusuf? Yes, Prophet Muhammad. Excellent. Well done. Okay, let's have a look at our podium. Okay, so we have Sabasha, uh, no, Samadia in third place, Sabasha in second place, and we have Zara Suleiman in first place. Excellent. And we've got Fatih Raza and Marzia as our runners up. So well done to everybody. Okay, well done. Don't worry if you, even if you're not on the charts, as long as you try to answer those questions, you did a great job. Um, so like I said, the test questions are pretty much like this, so they're quite nice and easy. We'll try and do some practices every week so that you're ready for the exam. All right. Thank you, Auntie. Okay, thank you very much for joining thank us today. Thank you. Thank thank you. you. Bye. Okay. Bye. All right, so uh, before you all go off, I think it would be nice if we can recite the dua together, okay. dua imam zamana, and okay. end with a salvat, okay? okay? So thank you, it would be really nice if we can end with that, please, okay? okay. So you can okay. Un unmute your mics. Okay. Okay. Bye. Don't go yet. Read the oh, door yes, together. Yes. Yeah. So Excellent. Done. Thank you. Okay. Mia Ahmed, you want to start reciting? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. And everybody else as well, join in. Okay. Yes. Off, off we go. Bismillah. Allahumma. Pensively, please. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, very good. Thank you. Sorry, we're all reciting at different times, so that's why it sounded like that. But hopefully, you all recited the door nicely. Um, can we please just say a, a salwat together so you can unmute and then you are welcome yes. to leave? Okay, yes. So, everybody together, Allahumma. Allah, Muhammad. Thank you for joining.